Hello, today we're going to look at debugging Jest with VS Code using TypeScript. This, uh, I have made a video and written an article about this before, but this is an updated version that is uh, a bit more straightforward and um, uses some new features in VS Code and I think makes the process a little simpler because you don't have to be concerned with uh, command line parameters or how the communication is working. Anyways, here we go. We're going to uh, create a new directory for our uh, repository we're going to create. I'm going to call it um, debug2021 chest, something like that. And we're going to create a new code instance in that folder. Let's say we trust the contents. We're going to open a new terminal and going to run npm init so the slash y accepts all the defaults uh, you'll probably spend time changing these to debug just tests or something like that uh, I know that I'm going to add TypeScript and configure it to output uh, the compiled files in the build folder so we're going to add build here and types oops Um, we will also add scripts in a moment. Okay, we're going, now we're going to install the dependencies. So we're going to install TypeScript, Jest, the types for Jest, and TS Jest. And we'll get to why we're using TS Jest in a moment. Okay, dependencies are installed. Now we're going to uh, make this a Git repository. Um, so we're going to initialize repository and create uh, a git ignore file and add the typical exclusions for node. Um, some people also like to add dist, but mine's going to be output to build. All right, so now we want to initialize the TS config. Uh, for this, you can run mpx tsc init. Um, I believe the reason this works, if you were to run npx tsc outside of this folder, it would likely fail because tsc is not a package, or at least not TypeScript. But because mpx first looks inside the repository you're in, it will find that tsc has been added as a command and allow it to work. Okay, so it creates the TypeScript JSON. Uh, as I said, I like to change the outputter to build to keep the source files separate. I um, think they have pretty good defaults here. I also will be enabling ES2021. Uh, I think that is good. All right. So now we want to create our index file. So. So uh, you can put anything you want here uh, for this tutorial. We're just making a really simple function. So it's going to be an add function. Oops. So can't get much simpler than that. Okay, so now we want to update our scripts to actually compile and run this file. So to build, we're going to be calling a TypeScript compiler. Uh, I add a bit extra step in here. So instead of calling, well, you'll see. So let me explain these real quick. Uh, so if you run node with the period, it should look at the package JSON entry point and reuse this as a thing. So you don't have to specify the explicit path again in node. Uh, node has a convention where if you put pre in front of the command, it means this command always runs in front of this. 
uh, I think you can do this for almost all commands. <clears throat> so you could have a pre-build and a pre-test. And then build, it's actually just running the TypeScript. Uh, I like to keep these separate. All right, so if we did that correctly, we should be able to run and pay them start and it will compile. And yeah, it doesn't output anything because it just does uh, defines a function. Um, but that's good enough for us. So now we're going to create our test file. Uh, just uses a pattern where you use a test suffix. Um, so we're going to import the add from our first file. And if you're unfamiliar with just, just syntax, um, use describe to kind of declare the unit under test, which is going to be the add function and then test you give it some description. Um, this would uh, make more sense if you had a, a much more complex function, but for here it seems kind of contrived and silly, but we're just making anything up. Okay. All right, so now we have our test. Now we need to make sure that we can run just. All right, let's, uh, oh, I forgot a step. We have to actually configure just um, to use TS chest. And then, okay, so we're gonna do MPX TS chest uh, config init. And there's a link to this command in the article. All right, so this creates a just config file and we're actually going to add a bit more. I'm not sure if you need this, but okay. We're gonna ignore these three locations. Uh, and these, uh, I think just will use the locations that are in your git ignore, but uh, anyways, we put these here. The main thing is that we tell it it's a node environment and that it's using the TS chest pr preset, which does uh, a lot of the basics you would want. Okay, so if we've done, let's see if we configured everything correctly, we should be able to run our tests. Should get the index TS, yes it does. Cool, all right. Um, and just a note about TS Jest. Uh, normally, when you're using Jest, you uh, you know Jest works on JavaScript, and I think has some history with using Babel. So you first use TypeScript to compile to JavaScript, and then you run Jest on the JavaScript, uh, and then it can cause issues when you're debugging because the compile code is not exactly the source code. Um, but when you use TS Jest, uh, obviously you get to run the test directly against the TypeScript, which means your breakpoints won't be mismatched with line numbers and them uh, disappearing and reappearing and stuff, which can be uh, pretty frustrating. And uh, yeah, so that's <coughs> the new tools from the updated article. Now we'll look at uh, how to actually debug so uh, one more script I want to add is just has a special option called run in band. And I'm not sure why they use the term band, uh, but uh, by, by default they have, I believe, concurrent processors to run your tests faster. So it runs them in parallel. Um, because just is kind of its its own file processor where it's loading stuff. But when you say run in band, it's a I think basically running them in sequence, uh, and this can be helpful when you're debugging. So uh, it's not running other tests while you're stopped on one test you're debugging. Cool. So I think uh, let's see. Now I need to set a breakpoint. Cool. So we want to stop here. We have the right script. And now a new thing in uh, VS Code that didn't exist when I wrote the old old article 
is this new debug uh, button that's kind of uh, you know artificially put in by VS Code Editor. So it detects your scripts and allows you to pick one that you're debug. And we want to debug the test debug, which has the run and band option. And if it all works, we will hit our breakpoint. Cool. So that was it was that easy. Now we can uh, inspect variables. Uh, these are number literals, so it's not too helpful, but you get the idea. Cool. I hope this is helpful to you guys. Thanks for watching.